Okay, so let's see what Tiny Rogues has for us today. Mm, random. Why not? Intelligence. Hmm. You know, I'll just go for intelligence. There are some weapons I came across which scale very nicely with intelligence. And they are not magic weapons. So, yeah, intelligence might be the way. I mean, like getting some intelligence might be the way. Because you don't really know what weapon you're gonna go with now for this playthrough. So we just take a healthy, a nice healthy mix of strength, dexterity, and intelligence. A nice balanced diet. This will lock us into using shields, but it's kinda tempting. But why if we don't use shields? So for that reason I'll go for attack speed. But what if I don't want like what if I use a weapon that does not depend on attack speed? Mm. I'll just Reroll one more time lah. Okay, so infusion effects are permanent. For, for this reason, I always start with the poison field jar. Because it's very hard to get this poison field jar in the simple rewards chest and it does not show up at all in the random consumable room or the infusion room, so this is actually pretty rare. Okay, so let's go for a key. And let's go for the bombs. I could go for a mega death run if I'm feeling up to it. Mm, let's go for a treasure rock. I think at this stage of the game it will just drop like um, normal loot like bombs, keys. No, it won't drop bombs, but yeah, key. It will drop a key. So. One bomb for one key, there's a slightly above average trait. Because normally when you get bombs, you get two of them at a time. Mm. You can also get money out of... No! Ah, it's okay, it's okay. I'll have a... A few mistakes I made that I should have like... Put the I should put like a bomb here, then this will get blown up as well. But no matter, I can stick with the boomerang for now and just go for the random accessory. I do not have an accessory. The poison is gonna delete his hit points. So when the spider is shooting the bombs, right, there is a case of like standing in such a way that it will like have to rush towards you like from all the way across the screen. So you got more time to shoot at the spider. 20% increased effect of chill and frostbite. Hmm, okay. That would be useful if I had a frostbite weapon. Okay, so let's go for the dexterity. Uh, let's go for the infusion because infusion effects are permanent and we technically do not have an infusion yet. Mm, lightning is good, let's the enemies take more damage. Okay, what have we here? Ceremonial knife, Molotov cocktail.
We can't upgrade the weapon, we don't have the money. This will make our this will make our poison infusion useless because if I stack like a poison weapon with a poison infusion, it will inflict two stacks of poison at once. But this weapon it inflicts like ten stacks of poison at once. But it's not as if we're gonna stick with this weapon for the rest of the game, so it's okay to go with it for now. I might want to, I might want to switch back to the boomerang because like the attack pattern of this is kind of takes some getting used to. Okay, almost got attacked there. Luckily, I didn't. Four keys, I should be able to open this. Take the spell book, yes. Increase magic damage. I don't have any magic damage at the moment, but I appreciate the thought. Ah, okay, melee fighters. I cannot, I can't go for the other one. I don't have anything to open it. Oh no, I don't have money to buy anything in the shop. Oh, it's the hand of Ragnaros. At this point of the game. Okay, don't mind if I do. Fire elemental strike. It doesn't do it doesn't do magic damage. So yeah, spellbook is useless with it. Now I can go back to doing stacks of poison damage. Now melee weapon or accessory. Let's go for accessory again then I guess. Shit, got hit there. So the thing about the hand of Ragnaros is the range is kind of... Yeah, the range is kind of dinky. But it's supposed to attack like really fast. Hand of Ragnaros does not scale with intelligence. I will refrain from picking up intelligence. Okay, now the range is still there, it's just that compared to a ranged weapon, it's not that far. I can take this now because it's a shrine effect of 25% more damage. So Echoing Fury skills with Strength and Dexterity, so I'll go for the Strength. Yeah, it does attack really fast. Does the actual Hand of Ragnaros attack this... Eh, sorry. Does the actual Hand of Ragnaros attack this fast in World of Warcraft? I kind of forgot. But status effect on them. Okay, we got poison, we got burn, we got lightning. So that's 30% damage increase. I don't want to like reroll. Okay, not yet. Avoid the arrows and avoid the circles. Ooh, bombs and money. That's what we want. I'd like to upgrade this weapon as well. Okay, just nice. Need anything upgraded? Yup, this thing. Oh, I love enough gold. Okay, infusion. Maybe I can get the frostbite or chill or. Oh, nice. That's chill. So I got coal, I got lightning, 
the fire comes from the echoing fury so got one two three and four that's like a 40 percent damage increase on subsequent heat on subsequent hits so i can like hit like this guy it won't deal him like 40 percent increased damage but once the status effects are inflicted then i can deal him like 40 percent extra damage buy items in shops okay okay talisman one intelligence one strength okay like at least there's strength in there uh random boots i don't have boots yet now let's try to murder the bee queen <coughs> Almost got tagged there. Ten percent critical hit. Okay, no mega death because Echoing Fury is nice, but trying to hit Mega Death with Echoing Fury is not nice. I think I'm like issues hitting death itself with the Echoing Fury. Yeah, we've got bombs, we've got bombs to like, shatter this. Hmm, let's stock up on gold first. Oh, that was close. I need to stock up on dexterity as well. Ah, I should I should always remember like put a bomb here that can get both. Okay, more gold I guess. see what double x feral wing bow nah none of these are better than the hand of ragnaros so yeah night shield mm. yeah just hold on to the night shield first Based on what skills, based on what perks I get later, I might want to get it. I might want to use it or I might not want to use it. No helmet, let's get a helmet. Like, if I get Tipsiness effects are permanent, I would not want to use the Night Shield. But if I get like something else, I might want to use the Night Shield because it's easier to repair. this poison damage yeah we do we deal like some poison damage so this is kind of useful i guess let's go to let's go for some dexterity don't get hit by the projectiles otherwise i'll get malaria oh that being said uh, you know what i'll just like reattune the i'll just reattune the thing again that being said like it's better to it's better not get cursed or get malaria. Oh, I picked up intelligence. Mm, ah, it's okay, I guess. 10% movement speed modifiers to movement speed also apply to attack speed. Okay, that's a 10% increase to attack speed, I guess. Could be more. I mean, uh, I would rather have something else, but I don't really want to... Fuck. I don't really want to reroll.
event no this will reduce our luck by one so we reduce the luck by one we can either get like 150 gold or upgrade this weapon to level four the extra level to the weapon i don't think is worth the decrease in luck Nice heart container, so that means we can't pick up the rare weapon, but it's okay, we have the hand of Ragnaros, so yeah. Okay, try not to get hit by this, otherwise you get malaria. Nice. So we're gonna fight the Sphinx. Blessed with the power of the sun, how about being blessed with the power of the hand of Ragnaros? Then he's gonna go to the center and it's gonna fire off. Unfortunately, we cannot take advantage of the like, blind spot here because the range of this weapon is far too short. But we still manage to attack him without taking damage. So, yeah, that's good, I guess. Now, yeah, it's time for some strength. Can never have too much strength. Never have too much gold. Yeah, I totally meant to do that. <laughs> I totally did not like move back and forth like an idiot trying to dodge all of that. I totally meant to do that. Do that. Huh? <laughs> Okay, so we are stocking out things we do not have at the arcade. Maybe the arcade will give us a good weapon or two, but that is unlikely. Oh, what did that? Reaper's Toll. Okay, so time to choose what weapons I don't want. So I don't want this. I probably don't want this. Probably don't want this. I can take this now. Oh, it died. Ah, see how big the thing is. I can clear this like blockage here. I mean, I got enough money to upgrade the hand of Ragnaros, so I'll just like, upgrade it here. Hmm. So you see, the thing about this, right, is... Okay, there may be a case to upgrade this, but... A and A, S and S... Nah, then I'll just stick with the... I'll just stick with the hand of Ragnaros. I'll go for this. So now that I know that I'm going to use the hand of Ragnaros, I'll just like get blocked. So it's the same like evasion, but you need a shield. I mean, it's the same as acrobatics. The name of the perk is called acrobatics. I should have gone for the potion, but yeah, you can never have too much gold. So block already putting in the work. So the blood chest, yeah let's go for the blood chest.
Maybe next version of this game we'll get the crypt chest. Uh, melee weapon, even though I say you can never have too much gold. Oh, it seems that Neptune is immune to electricity. Oh, nice duh, but he's not immune to poison. Oh, we got we used the block there. Don't want to use the armor. But it's very likely that we'll use the fire. Maybe I could just like stand back and wait for the poison to get him. Oh never mind, the poison is like done already. Oh, okay. So like this seems to be a World of Warcraft run. Not only that I got like Hand of Ragnaros, I got Frostborn, I mean Frostbane, but Look at Frostbane, it's like... This is like the legendary Lich King sword from World of Warcraft, but... All it does is like... It's attacking like a dagger. I mean, okay, a dagger has different attack pattern, but... The attack radius, the attack like range is like so small. Okay, like you can like... You can add more magical damage to it, you can like... Buff it with the... Chill and Frostbite. Oh, Frostbite is damage over time. Chill is like a slowing effect. And the infusion from... The infusion from this, like, uh, cold infusion gives you... Slow. No Frostbite. So, yeah, maybe that's why it's good, but... They should make the... They should make the attack radius of Frostmon bigger. I'm just getting this to level up. I think I should stop taking like candy. You cannot comprehend. Fuck you, bang, bang, bang. Spend like twenty gold to like restore my health fully. So this is obviously a reference to like something, and this guy here is to make the reference PG thirteen. Mm, so I don't keep. Never mind. I'll just keep like all the things in my inventory for now. Rare equipment. Duration of effects. Hmm. Okay, okay. I'll just throw this away. I'll just throw this away. Bear the armor, yes. I think this is the last level, the last trait I get to pick. So, 
stacks of tipsy dust. Oh, I still can get to pick like one more thing. Okay, okay. Uh, let's go for consumable. Wonder what I can get out of it. Repair powder is good. Power gem for now is also good. Dice is also good. Hard container, definitely good. So yeah, hard container. <laughs> he says he is deaf. Death is like at the Death is like four floors late three floors later in the dungeon. He's not deaf, he's mistaken. Oh fuck. Well I got enough red hearts to tank the damage. And I can damage him faster than he damages me, so yeah. Dexterity, okay, okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I can get like 16% more damage. This means we're gonna fight Cerebus. Cerebus is kinda. Cerebus is kinda hard. So there's Dry Baby and Hydra. Mechanical crossbow, feral energy saver. So let me show you what the okay, we don't need frostmon. If he like went with frostmon and the crown and what we can be like the lich king and then went with this. Okay, so mechanical crossbow is the one which shoots like three arrows at one time. Two intelligence, one dexterity, increased magic damage. Okay la, so the thing about Frostmon is maybe like it scales better, like there are more opportunities to scale it this run than the hand of Ragnaros, but oh well. Look at our strength and look at our dexterity. It's much better than... Okay, I think I can buy a key, but $14 for a key is kinda... Nope. Okay, let's go for the consumable again. We're getting all the blacksmith whetstones. Maybe if there's a better weapon at the hand of Ragnaros, I might want to switch out to that. Oh shit, that's one block. Hmm, you know what I can do? I can just like switch to the kimono and throw this away. Let's go for dexterity. Twenty dex will give us an additional stamina container. Also, like increases the damage of the hand of Ragnaros. Oh, nice tree with strength. We are long overdue for a strength increase. Could be the like soul blacksmith in here, but can't open that. Yeah, I cannot reroll as well, so yeah, never mind. The soul blacksmith will just like let us upgrade our weapon to level four. And we also get to repair our armor at the soul blacksmith, so yeah, that's that.
Mm, okay, okay. There is this. So I won't use this. I won't use this. I won't use this. I mean, I can get 8% damage increase out of it, but... Get a soul heart, I guess. Uh, let's get dexterity. This is our final level we get. I mean, the final trait we get. So like this, we get all the status effects. We can we got poison, we got burn, we got frostbite. Okay, uh, we don't we got we don't have frostbite. We got chill. Then we now got bleed as well. Oh, what's this repair powder? Yes. Maybe I'll use it now. Should go for like the potions. Probably don't need the black split quite stone already, so yeah. Hmm, let's go for the oh by the way level max so I don't need this. That's not the that's not the level four blacksmith, but it's okay. Oh, I could probably like switch out the accessory. fight went easier than expected so I don't think we need the gold anymore so we can change this throw this away throw this away I'll just keep this uh, for room 5 or room 6 then maybe it's like 20% damage increase or something some strength
Okay, so let's go for the blood shrine. And let's go for the log chest that contains a variety of rewards. We already have a fire infusion on the weapon, so we don't need that. Oh shit, we need a blacksmith now though. We got an infusion anyway, so... Hmm. Can I use this? This is what? Uh, critical hit chance? Okay. This, and we can use this. Okay, so he's probably going to do his laser attack now. Don't go to the top there, otherwise he'll get stuck for whatever reason. So this battle is more or less like warm already. Damage like the we deal with this six nine seven to eight seven one, but the attacks per second for this is yeah. So it attacks three times in one attack, so that's probably why it attacks so fast, lah. So anyway, yeah, this is the Imba tiny work run for today. Thanks for watching and bye bye.